now I know why I unsubscribed from this box. Like this, it, it just, this isn't good. This is not good. Today's video is brought to you by Harry's. I'll tell you guys a little about them later on in the video. Plus I can get a shaving set for only $3. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Wow, Rin is just elated as ever to be a part of the video today, but I am very excited to have him here as we go through two glossy boxes. That feels very much like in a 90s sitcom when a dad's about to have an important talk with their children and they pull up a chair and they sit like backwards on it and lean on the back. That exuded that energy a lot and that's really not what I was going for, but I did want to talk about glossy box. Oh, you keep eating my hair. While we are actually doing two glossy box unboxings today, oh, we haven't done one in a very long time, hence the horde of them that are next to me. There are very many of them and they continue to grow because glossy box just isn't my favorite subscription. I'm gonna go right out there and just say it. I'm gonna put that out there. Um, it just isn't my favorite subscription. It hasn't been like ever. It has just never like made the top of the list for me. So maybe today my mind will be changed and I'll be blown away by these two April Boxy Charms glossy boxes. That That's gonna happen a few times throughout this video. Yeah. My glossy box, what strong glue you have. Oh, there's a pool tab. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get on into the first glossy box we have here today. Uh, from my memory, glossy box is very heavy on like skincare, so it tends to be a little bit like on the boring side to me, um, but you cute. I like their bow. There is a very strong scent coming out of here. I'm not really sure what that is just yet, but let's go ahead and get the first thing out of the way that popped right out of the box, and that is a little pack of scrunchies. Hitch. Oh, okay. So this is a three-piece satin sleep scrunchies. So these are specifically for sleeping, but I bet you know what? You could probably use them for the daytime too. They are a very pretty like blush pink. You do get three of them in this pack, which is nice. And um, they don't seem like really, really tight, which I like. <laughs> so strong. <laughs> Whatever the smell is inside of this box has just absorbed almost entirely into these scrunchies. So um, these are from Skitch LLC and um, I think they're cute. Like I said, they're not super, super tight feeling. I have very, very thin, fine hair. So I probably would have to wrap this around like a good four or five times to like actually hold my hair in them. But I don't really feel like they would tug on them too much and satin is supposed to be better for your hair. Okay, speaking of sleep, the next thing we have in here is a stress check sleep lotion. And I'm wondering, if this is where the smell is coming from because it's kind of like a lavendery herbally kind of scent. Yes, ma'am. Yes, indeed. Yep, <laughs> that is exactly where it is coming from. This is a comforting body lotion with lavender and chamomile to support a good night's sleep. This is from the brand This Works. This is from the this is from the brand This Works, and I feel like I probably have received this exact product like a couple of times. I've definitely received things from this brand before. You get 3.3 fluid ounces in here. It's also supposed to be vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, phthalate, and sulfate free. So all free of all of the things. It says it's a 98% natural sleep support. What's that other 2%? Just like some crushed up Benadryl or something in there. Make sure it's like real effective. So yeah, like a sleeping lotion. Maybe not exactly. Again, the most exciting thing, but to me it is very indicative of glossy box. So I'm not seeing anything like revolutionary here. Um, Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, which is also a skincare type product, which again is not shocking in any way shape or form. <laughs> All right, so this is a Neolastin Revitalize and Firm Eye Cream. Um, yep, yeah, just a little pot of eye cream. I feel like eye creams are probably one of the most frequently occurring things we get in subscription boxes. I don't know if it's something where they're trying to like up the perceived value of the box because typically eye creams are very expensive for, for whatever reason. I don't know why. But they're very expensive for a small amount of product. It smells like almost nothing and it just, it looks like a cream. So, you know, it's cream. Uh, it also says that this is a sample and not for resale. So this is definitely not a full size, but um, it's it's little. It's a bit, it's an itty bitty thing. Eye cream. It's 0.3 fluid ounces. Okay. The next thing we have in here, I, oh man, I know I'm going to pronounce it incorrectly. There's just, there's almost no chance of me getting this correct. This is from Sulwash. I'm sure it's an absolutely beautiful word when pronounced correctly, but it's Sulasho First Care Activating Serum. I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to activate, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, it says an essential anti-aging booster facial serum got advanced to fifth generation, but I don't know the first four generations, so I feel like I'm kind of missing out on like the lineage. That brings out youthful potential of your skin for a healthy natural glow. I still don't know what it's supposed to activate. I don't know if it's supposed to like activate your skin to like go into anti 
anti-aging mode or something, but um, very interesting, a little bit different than, you know, things we've seen before. Oh, it looks like a cute little bottle of hotel shampoo. You know, the ones that you like swipe from the unattended hotel cart in the hallway. Uh, this also is not for sale, so it is a sample. I can't remember the like ratio of sample size to full size items in Glossy Box, what they're actually supposed to come with. That's it. No wonder Glossy Box has always been like kind of bad. All right, so apparently according to their FAQs, um, Glossy Box is only worth at least $60, but you pay $21 a month for it. That's honestly not a fantastic ratio for a subscription box as far as like value versus cost. That that's kind of surprising. That's kind of shocking to me that you only get a $60 value promise. I like, like before moving into the last two items in here because I gabbed a little bit too much for the first box, <laughs> I will tell you guys about today's sponsor, Harry's. I've been using Harry's exclusively for over a year now and I really couldn't imagine using any other razor. Their premium blades are manufactured in their own factory in Germany and they give the most comfortable close clean shave. I have little bumps around my hair follicles because I have what they call strawberry legs or my favorite name for it, chicken skin, but I am still able to get a really close smooth shave without any irritation with Harry's. The blades are super high quality and have a precision trimmer and a flex hinge and are designed to give a clean and comfortable shave. I'm a big fan of their foaming shave gel. It is so creamy, foamy, and rich. Plus it's suitable for sensitive skin with skin loving ingredients like aloe and hyaluronic acid. And truly one of the best things about Harry's is that they are fairly priced for everyone, meaning there is no pink tax or outrageous price tags, just premium quality at an affordable price. Harry's really stands by the quality of their razors. They even have a 100% quality guarantee and a 100% money back guarantee. You can get this trial set, which includes a five blade razor, weighted handle, a blade cover, and their foaming shave gel for only $3. Isn't that like kind of crazy? I feel like there are very few things you can get for $3 nowadays. So redeem your trial set today for just $3 and you go to harrys.com slash alexandria. Alrighty, moving on to the next item in here, we have something from Lash Food. This is a conditioning collagen lash primer. <sighs> Okay, so I, I don't know about this either. Apparently putting collagen like directly onto your skin topically doesn't really do anything, at least from what I've heard. So I don't really know about applying it topically to like your lashes, your hair follicles, if that does anything. Oh, it's a mascara wand. I was expecting to see kind of like a serum wand, like a serum that you put on, but nope, it's just a mascara wand. So I guess this is just a primer that you put on before you apply mascara. It sure does smell like mascara. Flonase for days, ma'am. And then finally, the last item inside of here is from Loritzi, even though again you have to like national treasure because you can barely see it. <laughs> this is a gel liner that is cruelty free and vegan in the shade Nutty. Oh, it's actually not black. Even though it was called Nutty, I'm like, oh, like you, like a like black walnut. Is that a real thing? I just assumed it was going to be black because not only is this like a subscription box, it's glossy box. I just I, I figured. What else would they include besides a black eyeliner? But this one is actually that was a nice pop. <laughs> it's actually brown and uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. I said that like I could even see it. You guys are a million miles away to me. I can't see anything on that screen. That's a very intense tip. Sen well, the intense pointy sharp little tip now just rests peacefully on my hand. R.I.P. little guy, R.I.P. Oh, it's also not a twist up, so that's good. Is it a twist up? No, I just broke it even more. <laughs> Wow, oh, we're doing real good here. Okay, I was gonna say, since it's the only makeup product anywhere near this box, I was gonna swatch it for you guys, but that, uh, that ended in disaster. We have both tips just gone. This didn't even come with like a card or anything to give me prices. Um, I got three meals and then a uh, brass. Uh, so do I think this is worth my $21? You know, three samples, a lotion, a little thingy that broke and some scrunchies. This just probably isn't where I would like select to spend my $21. You know, $21 can buy you a lot of things. $21 can buy you like three pizzas with tax from Little Caesars. That's a pretty good investment, I think. Um, but this, on the other hand, just it's not a very exciting box to me. And that's just kind of how I felt about Glossy Box this whole time. And truly, that's why I have a huge hoard of them over there is because I'm just not excited to unbox them. But I resubscribed just so I could get the advent calendar like before everybody else, like on the pre-sale thing for the subscribers. And that's how I ended up with two. Honestly, I say that's how I ended up with two, but it's still kind of a mystery to me. Like, I don't know how on the same account I got two boxes, but somehow I now have two boxes that I do pay for every single month. Let's go ahead and get on into my second April Boxy Charm. Got more food and bras. Another cute little package. Maybe I'll be a bit gentler with this one. It's 
it's a, it's a second identical box. These are all the same items. There's not a single one that is any different <laughs> inside of this box. Now hear me out. You guys just heard me explain that I somehow get two boxes with the same account. I, re I really, like, I have no idea. I just really wanted the advent calendar, so I had to make sure I was subscribed to get it, like, kind of early. And I really tried to make sure I was subscribed, and daggone did I do a good job, because now I have two. But if you somehow order two different boxes and pay for two separate boxes from the same account that are shipped to the same address under the same name, don't you think? Because I know there are different versions, don't you think that they might try to ship out like, you know, one of each version or like a different version so you don't get the same exact items and pay for two? Does that mean my entire hoard over here, like half of it, is just a repeat of the other half? Now I know why I unsubscribed from this box. Like this, it just, this isn't good. This is not good. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna grab a random box from over here from the hoard. This one will do. November 2021. Let's just go through this one really fast so we can have just a little bit more variety in this video. And maybe this one will be much better than those other two boxes. And maybe you did like those other two boxes, but it's just, it's so underwhelming. Oh, I can swatch the thing though. Ah, a silver lining. I can swatch the eye pencil now. Okay, yes, it is a brown liner. <laughs> Decently pigmented. It's a little bit on like the firm side. It's not super creamy or anything. It definitely has a very warm undertone to it, like a little bit of an orangish color. Or orangish or color to it like the base of it is fairly warm it doesn't necessarily smudge but it kind of just like wipes away i don't know if those are two different things but like the line stays pretty much where it is but like the top of the color just kind of comes off it doesn't move around okay let's go ahead and get on into this november 2021 box this one comes with a cute little magazine that says glossy on it this is what i remember from glossy box like this was included in the other boxes that i've received in the almost in the future <laughs> i'm not a time traveler <laughs> i would be the worst time traveler could you imagine science has progressed to a point where people can time travel and i'm what you get they're like tell us about the future and I'm like I don't remember. All right so the first item we have in here is from Chella. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever tried an eyeshadow palette from them before. I have tried like eyebrow pencils and things like that but this little palette actually looks pretty cute. I'm liking these colors. I can never tell when they're listed like this on the back which <laughs> which one it's supposed to be. But I'm gonna assume this is cashmere. This is radiant. This is purpose and this is intention. It could be completely switched though. This is cute. It is a pretty small little four pan palette but um, these are very well wearable colors and things that I might actually get some use out of. I'll go ahead and swatch those for you guys. You know, I really didn't dig my fingers in there or anything. I kind of lightly swatched them and the pigment payoff is actually still pretty good and these are really pretty colors. So I do like that little palette. Alrighty, next up here, it looks like we actually have another little piece of makeup. Very shocking. Um, This is from The Beauty Crop. Ooh, this is Wee Cherry. I guess instead of like Wee Petty. Ooh, interesting. This is a pH changing hydrating lip oil. The color changing stuff that's supposed to like react to your pH levels in your body. I feel like that was pretty popular a little while back. There was a lipstick brand, something about a frog. Do you guys remember that? It was a lipstick that came out like green and then it was supposed to color adjust based on your like pH levels in your body to give you a color on your lips. Oh, this one is actually like a very pale faint blue. The packaging of this is super cute. I'm liking the little cherries on the top there. Oh. <laughs> I'm becoming my mom. This is a non-sticky moisture rich lip treatment that enhances your pout's natural color. That's the tornado siren. Okay, Renzi, time to go to the closet. Okay, I think we're all good. It should just be a thunderstorm warning. We've just had like a lot of tornadoes and severe weather recently in my area. So I'm, I get a little bit anxious. And I don't have a basement in my house. So like the whole family just goes into the master closet until, you know, things uh, clear up. So anyway, I think we're fine. I think it is just a thunderstorm warning, but uh, you, can, you can never be too safe. I do want to go ahead and give this lip oil a try. I like lip oils and I like that there's some like weird kind of funky science stuff happening with it. So um, I'm going to wipe off the cap stick that I have on right now. It's like a tinted Burt's Bees chapstick. And then I'll go ahead and put on this oil and we'll see if there's any difference. Maybe I could do like half. It's already turning pinker. Listen, I have no idea if this is like actually reacting with the pH of my body and like turning a specific color to my pH, but um, it's kind of fun that it gets like light blue and then turns pink. I feel like the spot where it sat the longest where I first put it on is darker pink than the rest of my lips. Um, It is kind of a vibrant pink for me. If I were picking out like an actual color for myself, I'd probably go with something a little bit less pink, but I really don't mind it. And 
it feels pretty good on the lips as well. It's really smooth. It doesn't feel super like oily oily, just really smooth. Right, the next item in here is from Figs and Rouge. It is a satin soft blurring primer. Again, we've been receiving a ton of primers recently. Um, this one's pretty though. I like the uh, pale pink packaging with like the gold accents. I think that's nice. Oh, it also says this is a finishing fix. I don't know what a finishing fix is. That's a little bit different for me. I can tell you guys that again, it's about, it's about halfway full. I don't know if there's something where like there's a standard where you have to have so much air in something to be able to sell it. You know, it's like the government saying like that has to be 50% air before you're allowed to sell it on market or there's like some reason why most of these things come half full. Okay, so the finishing part of it just says it absorbs excess for a sheer matte correction and then it fixes foundation to keep complexion freshly flawless. When it said finishing fix, I was wondering if there's like something about this that allowed you to apply it you know, over top of your, your makeup to like fix your finish, you know, to like absorb oil or something like that. Um, but that doesn't really make sense now that I think about it. Oh, it doesn't make sense. I, I need to read more. It says, alternatively, use over makeup by pressing product lightly onto skin to stay freshly flawless. Reading the whole thing really, it helps. It really does help just in life in general. Next up in here, we have a Vitabird. Vitabrid. A Vitabrid C12 Daily C Balancing Cleansing Balm. It's a nice large container of it and it has one, wait, and it has one of the cute little scoopy things. I like it when it comes to the scoopy thing. Ooh, it's very balmy. Uh, so the inside of it just looks almost like a giant chapstick. It has that kind of solid balm texture, which, which makes sense because it's called a balm. It smells a a little bit like vitamin E. Vitamin E. It smells a little bit citrusy, which makes sense because it has vitamin C in it. That's, I think that's where I was going with that. All right, and finally, the last thing in here is, ooh, commodity paper. I'm really hoping that this is a commodity fragrance. Uh, commodity makes one of my absolute favorite perfumes. It's commodity gold. It was actually the only thing I asked for for Christmas because I liked it so much. So I'm really excited to see if I like this one as well. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna like this one nearly as well. The Commodity Gold is like a super, super strong vanilla scent and I, just, I really like it. This one is a bit more pungent. <coughs> I was trying to spray it on the box. Um, the little thing was turned a bit more towards my mouth than I anticipated. Let's try that again. There we go. Why did the scent disappear? Or is it supposed to actually smell like paper and I can't smell it because it's on a paper box? I, I literally can't smell it. What the heck? Okay, I don't I don't really know like what I'm smelling. It just kind of like tingles and burns the back of my throat a little bit. The smell was kind of pungent at first, like just when I smelled it like in the little tube, but I actually like sprayed into the air and onto something. I'm having a really hard time smelling it. I'm basically just getting like a faint scent of like a very clean, maybe a little bit floral, like a white floral, regular smelling perfume. Perfume. That's so strange. I really feel like it almost entirely dissipated as soon as I put it on my skin. But I feel like it wouldn't be my kind of scent anyway. I like very warm, vanilla-y, spicy. Like I like to smell like a fall scented candle year round. But this time I can actually give you guys some prices of these items. Oh wow. Okay, so that little four pan palette from Chella is supposed to be $20. That's like five bucks for each tiny little pan. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I mean, I do like the pigmentation and the colors and stuff, but that to me is, is not a $20 palette. Okay, so this is the full size of the Figs and Rouge primer. This is $52. The Vitabrid C is also a full size. This is $48. The Commodity little paper perfume thing, that's 10 bucks for that tiny little thing. The full size is $105, but I don't know if I would spend $105 on something that I can't smell once it's out of its tube. And then finally, the Beauty Crop pH changing uh, lip oil. It also is full size and it is $12. That seems pretty reasonable to me. And actually, as it's setting on my lips, it's not as vibrant pink. So maybe it is adjusting to my pH. I don't know. If anybody knows the science on that, please, <laughs> please inform me because I do not. Alright, you guys, so that was everything for the November 2021 box. I personally like this one much more than I did the first two April boxes. I don't know what it was about those. It's just they they didn't really vibe with me, jive with me. Um. <laughs> this unboxing for some reason. Let me know if you guys like them though because everyone has different taste preferences for everything. I don't know if that $60 promise value is something new and they're reducing the value of their boxes because this one definitely had well over a $60 value to it. The other two on the other hand seem that $60 would be about right or even generous. So um, I don't know if that's a new thing. I don't know if they've reduced the value of their box. Let me know if you guys know anything about that. But uh, yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. I mean the absolute world to me. And thank you so very much to Harry's again for sponsoring this video. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!